So this is Hinton Ampner, which is a National Trust property. And my interest in coming here, it's near Winchester, my interest in coming here is that this is the site of a much older house. This was, this house itself is about 200 and something years old, 18th century. But previously there was another house here, which is famously haunted. Um, and it's in the ghost book I'm reading at the moment. There's a long chapter on it. Uh, it was the basis of uh, Henry James's novel, The Turn of the Screw, the story. And there was the servant in the window, the evil, malicious servant. And the true story behind that is there was a servant in the former house that was on this site. And apparently there was a illegitimate child. I think it might have been the result of a liaison between the Lord, Starwell I think his name was, and maybe one of the servants. And I believe the baby may have been killed. Um, and that gave this servant some hold over Lord Starwell. And he had some kind of power of attorney relationship. Anyway, so this isn't the haunted house. This is the building that was built on top of the former house. Both were called Hinton, are called Hinton Ampner. It's a beautiful site here. As prospect aspect looking down into a valley milky skies today I'll continue filming in case I pick up any activity here Topiary ahead. Fortunate, unfortunately, the house is closed today. I didn't know. And they're putting on an art exhibition and preparing for it today. See that lady over there is carrying a painting. It's a grand old house, very elegant with the large windows. Must be lovely inside. You see those uh, sphinx like statues either side of that, those steps there, I wonder. I wonder what that's about. Somebody went to Egypt, perhaps. Came back and had these commissioned. Maybe even bought them in Egypt. See the Sphinx. Obviously I'm very interested in the sphinx but the body is more like a well, it's more like a lion actually I mean it's interesting uh, this might be an interesting reference there because of this whole idea that the sphinx is much older than the pharaonic period of, e of Egypt and that the sphinx itself was altered um, in the pharaonic period so that the head was made to resemble a pharaoh, but in fact, it was a much larger head previously, and it pointed towards the constellation of a Leo. So the Sphinx was actually a lion. So it's interesting that the body here is 
lion-like. I hope I get some EVPs out of this anyway.